We're going to be looking at Chapter 9, Audience, from the CIE ICT IGCC course. So we're going to be looking at 9.1, Audience Appreciation. 9.2, Legal, Moral, Ethical and Cultural Appreciation. So what is Audience Appreciation? It is very important to tailor an ICT solution to the proposed audience. A number of factors need to be taken into consideration to ensure the ICT solution is suitable for its target audience. So the following methods can be used to find out more information about the potential target audience. So who will this ICT solution be aimed at? So we can, um, we can do interviews, so where we can ask open-ended questions. We can give out questionnaires to get more feedback from a, from a larger range of people. We can also compare the market, so we can do a market research. So based on the research, the IC team will have, to, will have a clearer idea about the following factors. So the age of the target audience, their experience, their expectations and their knowledge. So using this information here, the ICT team, once they're aware of the customer's needs, then they can take the following into consideration. So the use of language. So are they going to make this system quite complicated or have simple language? The use of colours, the usability, the level of complexity and the use of multimedia and interactive content. So let's say, for example, the ICT solution will be aimed at a younger target audience, um, maybe females. Then you will have to use um, simple language, perhaps. Um, the colours may be uh, colours which are suited to a female audience, perhaps. And because the solution will be aimed at a younger audience, the level of um, complexity and the usability of the application needs to be um, kept to uh, or made quite simple for them to use. And if a younger audience will be using a potential ICT solution, then it m will make more sense to include more multimedia and interactive content. Okay, so now let's look at uh, the legal, the moral, ethical and cultural appreciation. So copyright laws protect software in very much the same way um, as music CDs, videos, etc. So software piracy is a continuous issue for software developers and measures have been put in place to make it more difficult to use illegal copies of software. So it is illegal to make a software copy, to sell or to give, aw give away, to rent out software, to use the software on a, on a network on multiple computers, um, to use the name or branding of copyrighted software on another software without permission, using code from the copyright software without permission and then passing the software on as your own to sell. So it's illegal to do all of these things here. So obviously we can't sell or give away or rent software. Okay, We shouldn't be installing um, software one license on a full network on multiple computers. And we shouldn't be using aspects of the code or aspects of the branding to create our own software. So measures from software developers to prevent the use of illegal software. So most softwares require the user to enter the product key, so use of a product key when install, installing the software. So for example, when you install in uh, Microsoft Office or Microsoft Windows, you will be asked to include um, the product key. And then the online activation to ensure legitimate product key has been used. So once the key has been activated online, it can't be used any other times. So the software, the CD or DVD must be in a drive whilst the software is being used, especially, for example, if you're playing a game. So the game, the disc has to be in a drive whilst you are making use of the game and playing the game. Making a user agree to the terms and conditions before installation of software. So that's where you'd have to tick the box to say that you've agreed to the terms of the conditions. Okay, so when creating an ICT solution, consideration has also has to be taken regarding legal, morality, ethics and cultural issues. So let's look at legal. So ensure copyright laws are abided by, including not using any coding or branding from existing softwares, um, copyright softwares to create your own. Let's now look at morality. So to distinguish from right or wrong, sometimes it may not be illegal to carry out an act, however, it could be against your morals. So for example, Setting up a fake website to deceive, it's not legal, but it questions your level of morality. Ethics is to break a code of conduct. One example could be to leak information to a rival software publisher or to the press about new software ideas. 
and culture. So when software is released in different cultures, then care must be taken so that people are not offended. So for example, the use of certain words could be offensive to one culture and not to another. If certain com computer games mock religion or cultural beliefs, and again, this could cause offence. Okay, should the internet be policed? And we talked about this in chapter 4. So the debate continues on whether the internet should be policed. The following are some reasons why some users of, users of the internet believe the internet needs policing. So the recent hacking on major corporations, so Sony being one, some people believe there needs to be um, restrictions and consequences for these acts of crimes. Sharing of terrorist material, abuse in chat rooms, social media including Twitter, and grooming on social media platforms. That's basically where adults maybe could be talking to young girls for example. So there's many issues with the internet. The main issue is hacking okay, and sharing illegal content including software and video or sharing terrorist materials. So the debate is, should the internet be policed? Now the advantage of policing the internet would be to protect, to protect vulnerable users, gaining access to undesirable websites, to prevent illegal material, softwares and videos be openly posted and shared by web users. And the main thing is to bring justice to those who continually misuse the internet for their personal gain. So obviously, we realise there are a lot of issues going on with the internet. There's lots of crimes being taken place on the internet, and we have to protect those people who could be vulnerable to these crimes. Um, however, the disadvantage would be it would be extremely difficult and expensive to police the internet. Infrastructure, including the staff and officers, would have to be would have to be required. It would be difficult to enforce different rules in different countries. So, in different countries, certain websites are blocked. So you'd have to agree on a standard of rules which could be applied to all countries which could prove to be difficult and it could go against freedom of speech. So in some countries you can't speak against the local government, in other countries you can say what you want so there may be some conflicts. Okay so we've come to the end of chapter 9. So chapter 9 includes audience appreciation so that's basically where you build a software solution for an audience you need to understand what their needs are okay so you can find out by taking place or doing um, the interviews and the questionnaires and looking at the market research to see what other people are using what other people what they think about existing products for example okay then you need to know more specifically about who will be using that product and um, their age their experience expectations and their knowledge obviously if the users will be of a higher ability then the software solution will be more complicated if the user will be of a lesser ability, younger age, then you have to make something which is more suitable for their needs. Okay, so make sure you understand copyright law and make sure you know what is illegal. So obviously to make copies and to sell, um, to use one software, multiple networks, to use the branding and the coding of the software to create your own. And obviously you need to ensure you know what measures can be taken place to prevent the use of illegal software um, it's really important you know the difference between legal, morality, ethics and culture and finally you know you need to be aware of why the internet needs to be policed and also the advantage of policing the, the internet and also the disadvantage okay thank you for your time um, please share this content with your friends and your colleagues and your peers please show your support to this channel please subscribe below and leave your comments thank you again for your time